Uh, try uninstalling any recent apps you've EA'd added or disabling your VPN to see if that makes a difference. Finally, if you've tried everything restarting, resetting network settings, checking your SIM, updating your software, and you've confirmed there's no carrier outage, it might be time to quit. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something that can truly transform not just your home, but your entire mindset. Decluttering, I know, I know, the word itself can sound a bit daunting, maybe even stressful. You might be picturing piles of stuff, tough decisions, and a whole weekend lost to sorting. But what if I told you that clearing the clutter is one of the most powerful things you can do to create a peaceful, inviting, and genuinely joyful space to live in? It's not about getting rid of everything you own or living in a sterile empty box. It's about being intentional. It's about surrounding yourself only with things that serve a purpose, bring you joy, or hold real meaning. Think about how you feel when you walk into a cluttered room. It can feel chaotic, overwhelming, and even a little suffocating. Your eyes don't know where to rest. Your mind feels just as jumbled as the space around you, and it's hard to relax. Now, imagine walking into a space that's clear, open, and organized. You can breathe deeper, right? Your shoulders drop a little. But that feeling of calm and control is what we're aiming for. It's about creating a sanctuary, a haven from the noise of the outside world. And the best part, it's completely achievable, one small step at a time. So, if you re-ready to let go of the physical and mental weight of clutter and create a home that truly supports your well-being, you're in the right place. Stick with me, because we're going to break it down into simple, manageable steps that will make this process feel less like a chore and more like an exciting new beginning. But before we start pulling everything out of our closets, let's talk about the why. Understanding your motivation is key to staying on track. Why do you want to declutter? Is it to feel less stressed when you come home from work? To have more space for a hobby you love? Maybe you're tired of wasting time looking for things you can never find. Or perhaps you just crave that sense of peace that comes with a tidy environment. Whatever your reason is, hold on to it. Write it down on a sticky note and put it on your mirror. This why will be your anchor when you feel stuck or unmotivated. Now, let's get practical. The biggest mistake people make is trying to tackle everything at once. Don't try to declutter your entire house in one day. That's a recipe for burnout. Instead, we're going to use the small zones method. Pick one, just one small manageable area to start with. This could be a single kitchen drawer, your nightstand, the pile of mail on the counter, or one shelf of your bookcase. The goal here is to get a quick win. Finishing a small area will give you a powerful boost of dopamine and the motivation to keep going. It proves to you that you can do this. So, for today, just choose that one little spot. That's your only mission. Easy, right? All right, have you picked your small zone? Great, now let's get into the actual process. 
I like to use the four box method, but you can use bags or just designated piles on the floor. You'll need four categories keep, donate, sell, trash, and relocate. The keep pile is for items that you use regularly, absolutely love, or are essential. These are the things that belong in this specific zone. The donate sell pile is for items that are in good condition but you no longer use, need, or love. Be honest with yourself here. Someone else could get great use out of that sweater you haven't worn in three years. The trash pile is for anything that's broken, expired, or just plain junk. Don't be afraid to let it go. And finally, the relocate pile. This is a game changer. This is for things that don't belong in the zone you're working on, but do belong somewhere else in your house. The scissors from the kitchen that ended up in the bathroom drawer, for example, this pile prevents you from getting distracted by running around the house putting things away mid-processed. As you pick up each item,